return address. Sun is shining. It is so nice in here. Good morning. You guys, how cute is this skim set? I am obsessed. I love it. sleeping at the moment or is it just me like i woke up in the night and i was completely convinced that my house was falling down heard one noise i think it might have actually been a fence panel and i spent the rest of my night convinced that the ceiling was going to fall down on me if you have done a reno please can you tell me when the is my house going to fall down anxiety goes away i mean unless it's going to be years in which case i think i prefer to be lied to i don't think it helps that this room is literally above our bedroom. I'm just like, oh, oh, is that noise all of my handbags like just tumbling down? Anyway, you really don't need to know like the inner workings of what's going on inside my brain. Let's not open that can of worms. You might be wondering from the title, did she just put a face of makeup on for a day of organizing at home? And yes, my friends, I did. And that is because I am actually way more productive for some reason when I have makeup on. Honestly, my piercings are so hard to get earrings in there we go these are from aurelia by the way they're so cute so the little green hearts and the like chubby hoops are aurelia and then there's a rainbow hoop in between which i love and i can never remember if it's from astrid and miyu or monica vinader but i know monica vinader do have one that looks like almost identical to this but my top tip for you need to be productive is to put on a full face of makeup if you wear makeup and also to get dressed into something that isn't like super slobby but not so dressed up that like you're wearing jeans and then you don't have like the movement that you need for when you're having an organizing day but i like to kind of get dressed ish rather than just like stay in my pajamas for example and i find that the being dressed makes me way more productive way more likely to follow through on my tasks okay we're gonna stack my rings so i'm going little pinky ring i think this is from astrid and miu and then a monica vinader ring my middle finger i love this one it's nice and chubby engagement ring which needs a clean and then i really struggle with what to pair with this so i like to pair this ring from astrid and miu which actually looks different on the website it just meets in the middle but this ring has actually gotten too big for me like way too big in the summer it fits better but in the winter it just doesn't fit at all so i've like pushed it and made it a wrap around so those are my rings i need to find a necklace to wear actually i completely forgot about that anyway like i said today we are organizing my house that motorbike is just the gift that keeps on giving isn't it wow how is that even possible that you're still making that much noise is it just circling my house do you know what i actually think the pits of hell to me look like just hearing a moped over and over and over again anyway today we are organizing the house i have actually picked the worst week to start organizing my house because i'm actually in like in terms of my cycle i'm in week three and week three going into week four is not a great time for me i get very very tired week three week four is actually better i just am in pain in week four and i am also a mess up here in week four and i actually started to get really weird anxiety last night where i thought everyone hated me and then i checked my calendar and i was like oh we're we're coming into like week four that's yeah that makes so much sense but yeah week three has been a struggle this week i am so tired <laughs> i'm so tired but i also it's also not helping because i had weird anxiety last night and now i'm not sleeping but i'm like my body feels heavy in week three so it's probably the worst week of the month to be trying to organize my whole house but we are doing it anyway because it needs to be done the house is eating into my time a lot and i really want to be at my most productive at the moment so we kind of need to like accelerate the process with the house because i cannot be continuing this kind of like living in the midst of cardboard boxes and this 
for like another few months it's too much for me i'm super excited though because today the second part of the ikea situation has arrived so that will be happening in the next vlog we will be rejigging all of that and hopefully by the end of the next vlog this room will be complete I hope. But today we are organising the rest of the house. We need to do a tip run. I have that booked in this morning. I also want to organise all of my beauty stuff. I need to clear out the bathrooms because our downstairs bathroom has not had a clear out in a really long time, like since before we moved out to start the reno. So I think there's a lot of products in there that just haven't been used for a long time and probably are not within their best buy date now at the moment, which is very annoying. The bathroom up here just needs a little bit of a rejig because I'd actually quite like to clear it out and move all of my stuff from the downstairs bathroom into it. So I just use this bathroom up here and then there's more space downstairs for Ryan and all of his things. And I think that'll be really nice. And then it's more of a, just like a family bathroom where we keep our like shower gels and Ryan can keep all of his stuff but like all of my main skincare is kept up here and if we have time we're also going to go through some of the beauty products in my office the office is a state but I feel like we need to like make some kind of like progress with it because it's just a mess I haven't tended to it since probably this time last year and it became a post room when we moved out and also just a dumping ground for lots of other things we need to have a clear out on there there is so much makeup that i haven't touched in that like well over a year now and i think we're just gonna have to have a complete overhaul in there so that is what is on the agenda today i also started having a clear out of things yesterday that i think i'm going to sell i think i might put these just on my depop just to get them out the way quickly i also have a couple of bags that i'm thinking of selling number one being this one from Louis Vuitton. This is the reverse monogram. I can't remember what the name of it is. Pochette Matisse in the reverse monogram. So I still have all the box and everything. I think I'm going to put them on Depop, but if you want to buy them directly off me, just pop me a DM on Instagram, ideally UK purchases please because shipping abroad is a nightmare things get lost and it's very stressful i'm also thinking of selling these fendi boots these are in a size 5 so a 38 but i would say they are more in line with like a five slash a four and a half a five can wear them just not with thick socks but if you were a four you could wear a very thick pair of socks and wear them basically they're a five but they run a bit small and i'm also thinking of selling my prada clear bag i'll insert a clip of it over the top of this because I can't be bothered to go and get it. So if you are interested in purchasing them, DM me. If there are no takers, I'll put them on my Depop. But yeah, it feels good to have had just a little mini clear out up here. I'm really happy with everything else that I have. So let me know if you're interested in those anyway. I need to get dressed. Not being productive at all at the moment, so let's get on it. This is today's outfit, the Adenola set that you all love. And then I've just got a Skims bando bra on underneath just to give a little bit of support but it doesn't add anything if anything it makes me look a little bit flat around here and then my uggs maybe i'll change for the tip because i might be a bit chilly in this but this is just so nice and comfy for around the house okay step one let's go through my bathroom cabinet what have we got in here right first things first the lancome mousse is nice but i have so many other cleansers on the go at the moment i don't i'm sick of things going past their use by date so i'm actually putting together a basket of skincare for a friend who's just had a baby so I'm going to put this in the basket for her. L'Oreal Bon Repair, that is almost empty. So that will be going soon. That's fine. What do we have here? Okay, we have a body bar. I just love regular shower gel. I'm probably not going to use this, so I'll pass it on. And same with this Kerastase conditioner. This is probably the only one that I've ever found that I don't really get on with. We have the dandruff ranges, which are so good for when my scalp gets dry. So if you are a dry scalp girly, I would definitely recommend these. They have a version for whether you have a dry dry scalp or an oily dry scalp and it's just honestly it's life-changing so we have the matching conditioner this is the shampoo i'm using at the moment but a backup so i'm going to keep that the purple shampoo i mean i just don't i love the smell but mm, maybe it will help when my hair goes a bit brassy actually i am going to keep that when i'm like nearing needing a new toner i'm not doing very well at this guys what is this no i want to keep this i want to try it mm, i'm really not doing well here oh my god lancome eye cream it's such a good eye cream these are all such good Lancome products, but I am going to pass them on to my friend because I actually just can't stand the fact that I'm not getting through things fast enough. Oh, this serum is so good. I'm going to pass it on to her though because she was saying that she wants to be like really, really glowy and this serum is unreal for that. Okay, we have a box of stuff. I was ruthless and I'm sad about it, but it's just ridiculous having this much stuff. So we're going to find some good homes for these. And now it means that when we clear out the bathroom cupboard downstairs, I can take the things that I want to keep out of that cupboard and put it 
in the drawer up here. Whilst we are up here giving upstairs some TLC, I'm going to tend to this makeup desk because I love my makeup desk so much and I feel like I'm already mistreating it by leaving it this cluttered. So we're just gonna have a quick tidy up here as well. Bin, bin. Oh my God. Why am I like this? So much better. Next up, we have a quick cupboard blitz. This cupboard is not, it's not looking good. So I'm gonna try and do this in the fastest way possible. This is one thing that I found particularly helpful this morning is actually just giving myself like a five minute supermarket sweep style time limit. So I don't really overthink it. I don't end up keeping more than I need. It's just instinct, you know? So let's begin. I'm so overwhelmed. Terrible deodorant. That's going. That's empty. That's useful, that can stay. Terrible deodorants. Haven't used in two years. Same with this. Amazing if you have a dry scalp. Oh wait, we've got two of them. Okay, you can go. Haven't used in forever. Oh my God, and there was Ryan telling me he needed another one. There's one in the cupboard. Silly. This is how much of a state this cupboard is. Ryan cannot tell if he actually has things or not. I'm a nightmare to live with. Oh my God, that looks disgusting. That makes my skin so dry. Not my face. No, no, mm. yes, yes. Keep, keep, oh wait, which one? Ooh, give that one away. Keep this one, keep, give away. Stay here, keep, give away. Mm, keep, that's basically empty. Keep, give away. Essential item. Give away, give away. Great sun cream. Oh, my tiny fan. That's gross. Wow, that looks so gross. Ooh, I'm gonna try this. Mm, I've definitely had this for longer than a year. I'm going to take this for upstairs. Wow, look how much space there is. Please. Amazing. So much better. Okay, now we need to separate between giveaway and bin sadly some of these products are so old and gross that's new that's going to the office new 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 still good old and gross still new still new mm, this is kind of old what does the 12 months yeah goodbye <laughs> i've had that for like two years those are really old that's old by the way guys i don't know if everyone knows this but on the back of everything there is like a little symbol and it says like it'll say like 12m or like 6m or i don't know like 24m or something like that and it's this one here by my thumb and that is basically how long the product is within its sell by date that's still good that's still good that's old and gross i just honestly yeah these have got to go if they've touched my armpit like it's it's no good. I'm not sure. I think that's like an extra part for something. That's empty. Very, very, very old now. Old. Old and gross. Out of date. So these are the things that have gone bad. These are the things that have given giveaway. And then these are the things that I am taking upstairs. Hello. <laughs> Why are you being weird? She doesn't like it when I go into clear out mode. It makes her scared. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> to the recycling center. You know you're getting old when you have to wear a knee support. <sighs> Stunning. <laughs> I've just opened up a PR package. I got some earrings from this brand called Suru. They're so cute. Like how nice is the packaging as well? Love it. The box is so cool. Look at these. How unreal are these earrings? They also sent me these. They're almost like they look a bit opaly. No, mother of pearl. Well, yeah, mother of pearl. They're so nice. This is such a nice gift. Thank you so much. I have been wanting some like vintagey gold and black earrings for so long. Can't wait to wear these. I think they're gonna look so cool. Obviously not with today's outfit, but like just a black jumper. I think these will look amazing. Can't wait to wear them. It is time for a hot girl walk. I am wearing basically all Adenola, apart from the hoodie, which is from Skims, you can't really see at all. But it's just a plain black hoodie. So nice, so comfy, it's quite warm out today. So hopefully this will be enough, but I'm gonna wear some gloves and then my headphones will keep my ears warm. So I'm hoping I'll be all good. It does feel risky not leaving the house in a giant puff coat though, I can't lie. 
guys we are on the last leg and this may essentially be the worst part of this entire video and remember that we're not judging here we are a non-judgmental community don't make me block you this is this is what the office is looking like it's bad it's really bad if you think this is bad mm, yeah yeah it's really bad <laughs> I know, okay, I know, I don't need to be told, I know it's bad, so we're going to sort this now. Here goes nothing. This room is like climbing Mount Everest. I've got some bits to throw away here. These are bits that I want to find a home for slash put away in the rest of the house. We still have an enormous pile of makeup. So I'm going to be doing lots of like giveaway bags for people. The shelves are looking a little bit more put together now. I have got the biggest pile of posts that needs to be filed, which is very boring. I actually have to have a meeting now, so I don't think I'm going to have time to do a full beauty claret on here. I think that's going to have to be another time. But... It's looking so much better. It's a whole room and I can walk around in it. We're getting there. We are getting there. Hello, we are back where we started. I have all of my things from downstairs to try and make it fit into this bathroom up here. Brian is very, very happy with the clear out that's happened and the fact that he now has space for his own things, as he should. So let's see if we can make this fit. Gorgeous. Now, I have to be honest, I do still have my everyday skincare in this pouch. Where is this from? Space and Care. I love this pouch. It's the perfect size for all of my skincare. I'm aware this is probably a lot, but this is great because I travel a lot, as you guys will know. I quite like to keep all of my skincare just in this pack and then I just take it from my bathroom, throw it in my suitcase, and I never forget anything. But until I've used up a few products, I am probably gonna have this out on the side, but that's fine. This is all a work in progress, and I'm excited to get using up some products, so I'll let you know how I get on. I can't lie, I'm not feeling fantastic today. I think I might be due on early. That or I ate too much pasta last night. Both very viable, realistic options of things that might be upsetting me, but I feel like it may be the former. Anyway, we're taking a break from organizing this morning because I feel like I have done enough. My body is tired. We will resume tomorrow. <laughs> we will resume tomorrow. But I have a couple of bits that I wanted to share with you. I did a little H&M order. I also have the remaining part of my Skims order that I thought I'd share with you very quickly. It's not massively thrilling and you've seen it before, but I had to pick up a couple more of the, yeah, you guessed it, the grey Skims vest tops. I actually cannot find my first one that I bought. I've lost the first one. I have not seen it since, maybe since before I went to Bali? Maybe since before I got engaged, like basically I have not seen my other one since the summer and they're always out of stock and I found them in stock on the Skims website. They've had a restock. So we have got two pairs. So I will never be without it now. I'm very happy about that. Let's get into the H&M order. I actually still have a couple more bits out of this order. So you'll see it next week. But I'm really excited to show you the first item that I bought because I have been looking for a jacket like this for so long and I'm so happy I finally found one. I also picked up some home bits as well, which I'm really excited to show you. So we'll dive into those first. Firstly, I got a couple more of these. There must have been something wrong with my last order, by the way, because they come in a two pack and I only have three. I don't know how that's happened. But anyway, because I only have three, I wanted to get another one, but two packs. So now I have five. It is what it is. Anyway, I really like these. I know they divided some opinions, but I am having a girly sleepover 
at some point very soon. And I really want to do like a cute dinner for the girls. I also got some other bits for the table for during this girly sleepover. How cute are these? They're obviously very Valentine's Day y, but I don't care. These are like the perfect girly dinner candles to have on the table. I've got a couple of these candlestick holders. We can put these on the table in a bit and have a look at them and see. I hope the candles fit. I've just had that thought. I'm assuming they will because it's all from the same store. You would hope. But anyway, I've got these cute little candle stick holders. They do so many really nice ones on H&M. It was really hard to decide. But these are quite timeless. So I just went with a pair of these. And I think they're just going to be so nice. Like this, a little pink candle, the pink placemats. Such cute girly dinner vibes. And then this jacket so excited about this oh it is a bit fluffy let's hope this turns out okay for me so i have this blazer which i know so many of you love it's just from plt and i don't even know if it's still in stock if it is i will link it but i got it so long ago and when i bought it it was just completely out of stock but so many of you love it this is very similar but in a gray which i actually think is a bit more wearable i really struggle with pinky colors i'm not a pink girly i don't know why i keep trying to do it to myself and make myself pink girly but i'm not but i thought this would be such a nice alternative i don't know if i love it with this top i don't know if i love it with white maybe i'll put my skims vest on hang on okay so i think this is a bit better honestly you can tell i'm definitely due on where did these come from where did where did these come from i swear they weren't here yesterday anyway i think it looks really nice with the gray vest top underneath and then just a pair of more straight leg baggier jeans the uggs you can switch them out for boots or whatever but yeah what do we think it is nice i do think it's a bit more chunky than my blazer which i think it comes hand in hand with definitely being warmer and more winter appropriate which is really nice but i don't, I don't know if these are like maybe slightly too much on my frame it is really nice and i think it would just look really nice with like leggings and a more casual outfit what do we think i think it could be a really nice like transitional winter to spring jacket rather than having like a giant puffy coat do you guys like it let me know what you think i honestly i'm trying to not spend as much at the moment she says having just done a h&m order so if you guys think it's a no let me know because then i get to send it back and i can save myself the money but yeah it's a really lovely jacket and if you are looking for something that is similar to the pink jacket i think this is a really great alternative and in a slightly more wearable color as well this is the fit of the pink jacket just so you can compare what do we think i think i've just answered my own question but anyway if you do want something similar that's a little bit more winter appropriate i definitely think the great one is an alternative though they don't match up perfectly as i would have hoped how cute is that i know some of you guys were not a fan of the pink but i think just for like girly dinners specifically this is so fun like i have neutral all ready to go for when we have like normal nice dinners but i think the pink is just so fun i think sometimes with home stuff we take it so seriously and like my house is so neutral and minimalist that sometimes some occasions it's just nice to do something that's a little bit more fun anyway that is what i got from h&m i'll show you the rest of my order in the next vlog yes i have changed this is my official outfit of the day i do have a habit where you have to change your top a couple of times to like get comfy but yeah this is my official outfit of the day so we've got my platform uggs my cos black washed straight leg jeans Celine belt and then this long sleeve top is also from Cos and then I changed the earrings as well because I actually I love these ones with the black center I think they're a lot more me than the ones with the white center these are definitely if you're gonna buy one pair buy these I think these are stunning and I think it just works really well with the outfit because it's all like blacks and golds I need to get on and film a podcast now I'm hoping it's gonna go okay because I feel like I have real brain fog so wish me luck these cables give me anxiety here goes literally nothing hello everybody welcome back to confessions of the 30 something drama queen I feel like I need a lint roller just for my microphone okay we are done for the day my brain is so tired after doing that podcast episode I really like I think what I'm gonna need to do is align my podcast recording schedule with my cycle i used to work like that a lot where like i try and avoid events in like the week before so if, for example this week i have no events i have no meetings and we're really good at that but i kind of didn't think about podcast record i just isn't it annoying though you just feel quite useless for like a whole 
week. Like this is not a realistic strategy actually, really, when you think about it, unless the government want to give us like a few free days off every month to like, to go through this, that would be unreal. Anyway, so my point being, I might try and pre-record some episodes for next month. Not like getting super ahead and it feeling really like fake and like, it's too staged but just not recording down to the wire I think will be massively helpful to me so hopefully we'll get into that kind of routine as we go on because my normal episodes are like I would say 45 minutes when I record that was an hour and 10 anyway I've just had a delivery which I want to show you guys because it's just so beautiful it's not something I'd normally show but I felt kind of weird not showing it though I do show you skims so I feel like this isn't that weird but I got a package from Bluebella which is a gorgeous underwear brand first up this was the first thing that I unboxed it's so beautiful look at this bra they sent me so much like white bridal stuff which is so beautiful but they also sent this which ah oh. It's like super sheer, like barely there, like proper like lingerie vibes. It's got this gorgeous frill that is so stunning. I think Vic has a lot of their stuff and it always looks super beautiful. So I'm so excited to try it. So I will link to that set. And then they sent like loads of more like bridally lingerie, which looks so gorgeous. If you are a bride and you want some cute lingerie, I think their stuff looks so beautiful. It's unreal. I feel like I can't show you this on without like you seeing a lot of nipple though. And it's got like the little suspender bits. Oh my god, this is so stunning. It reminds me of like a butterfly. Oh my god, I love. It's got a really open back as well, which is so nice. And then we've got this beautiful like mesh lace bra. That's so nice. That is gonna be so beautiful. Thank you so much to the Blue Bella team for sending these over because they're honestly unreal. So kind of them. I will link to their stuff if you guys are interested in picking up any really cute underwear because their stuff looks amazing. I really wanted to show you guys, but I didn't want to show you too much. So I am getting a little bit creative. <laughs> with how I show you the bras but this is the first one on it it's so nice I'll put my sizing below for reference if you kind of want to get a gauge of it but whatever size this is it fits really really nicely it's so cute I love 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 again the full body is so nice it fits really really well i can't wait to wear this properly it's so beautiful then this is the more full body suit such the other one's more of a corset this is like the body suit this is probably my favorite i really like how wearable this could be under a shirt for example if you we're just wearing like a white shirt and you wanted something really delicate poking out underneath. I think this is so gorgeous. Like a really nice like little date night situation if you wanted to wear a white shirt, but then you wanted to like add a little bit of spice. I think that's such a nice touch. Hello. Hello. What you making? Burritos. Mmm. I was really or craving tacos. Mexican tonight. Burritos slash tacos. Yum. I was just what they are. Tacos is the hard shell. Well, I think you can have soft tacos. Oh, you're true. I don't know. All I know putting is putting stuff in these. So. It's putting stuff in tiny, <laughs> in tiny, in tiny wraps. I'm actually not having the wraps, but you wanted the wraps. But uh, all I know is that if I didn't have a pizza tonight, I wanted Mexican food. So the man is facilitating. Thank you. I'm very excited about this. Brian makes this unreal like salad, the Mexican salady thing. This is a terrible angle, isn't it? This is the only way to get us in shot together. <laughs> The mango one. <laughs> is that what you're talking about? Yeah, you make this unreal, like it's like tomato and avocado. You might have seen it in the last vlog, because this is the second time we're having Mexican this week, but it's like tomato, avocado, mango. It's kind of more like a salsa really, isn't it? Yeah, it's unreal. But it's like, it's the only way you'll get me like eating mango. I actually don't normally like mango, but I love it in this salad. It's, good. it's unreal. And I don't normally like like a barbecue-y, fajita -y flavor, but the combination of the two is so nice. Like it makes it so fresh and I love that. That's gonna be it from you guys because I've had enough organizing for this week. There may be some more coming up, but I've, <laughs> I'm done. So yeah, I'm gonna love you and leave you. I hope you are all having a great weekend and I'll see you guys again next week. Love you, bye. Tell them you love them and goodbye. I love you and goodbye. <laughs>